on, but in 1984, another Kryptonian made her way to Earth. Kal-El's cousin Kara is causing quite a stir on the TV show Smallville. But back in the 80s, Supergirl had a movie all her own. Not many people know about the movie Supergirl, but it's still a cult classic. And I think that movie's scary enough for me. Woo! I think that boys and girls should go right now and see that movie. Because it's really good. It is awesome, baby! Supergirl, I think she's very, 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 very pretty. She's super strong. She can do laser beams from her eyes. She's super fast and she can even fly. I can do that too. Wanna see me? Here I go. Up, up, and away! Supergirl stars Peter O'Toole as the scientist Zoltar and Faye Danaway as the evil witch, Selena. Most importantly, at least to me, Helen Slater plays Supergirl. Helen Slater is an awesome Supergirl. Supergirl starts off on Argo, a city some Kryptonians escaped to when Krypton was destroyed. Argon has a special power source called the Omega Hedron. Kara loses the Omega Hedron on accident and follows it all the way to Earth. That's where she becomes Supergirl, of course. Plus, she was wearing different clothes when she got there. Selena is an evil witch who's searching for more powers. She's really mean and bad, and sometimes she doesn't even know someone and she does something to them anyway. Watch out for Selena. Selena wants to find the Omega Hedron and make use of its powers. Once Selena gets the Omega Hedron, she becomes super evil. Selena manages to banish Kara to the Phantom Zone. That's a really gross place where Krypton sons their bad people. Zoltar, the scientist from Argo City, helps her escape. She needed help because she didn't have her powers in the Phantom Zone. Then she goes back to Earth as Supergirl and goes after Selena to stop her and get the Omega Hedron back so she can save the Kryptonians on Argo City. But I don't want to tell you the ending. Why spoil it for you? My guess is you haven't seen the movie because you haven't heard of it much. What's really cool is there's a special version of the movie called the Director's Cut. That has a bunch of scenes that weren't even showed in the movies. Of course, I couldn't have even seen it in the movie theater anyway. But my mom and dad did because they're a lot older than me. They're products of the 80s. Oh, Jimmy Olsen from Supergirl is the same one who plays them in the Superman movies. Remember the guy that Superman saved during the earthquake? That's the guy in Supergirl. And Kara's roommate at school is Lucy Lane. She's Lois Lane's sister. You know, Superman's girlfriend. Demi Moore was supposed to play Lucy, but she didn't take the role. Here's some more trivia. There was supposed to be more Supergirl movies, but the first one didn't make enough money. Should have done much better, because it's a good movie. But they're supposed to be making a brand new Supergirl movie now. Really? Also, Superman was supposed to appear in Supergirl, but I think he was busy making a Superman movie at the same time. If there's a new Supergirl movie, I want to have Superman meeting her and both fight both, all of the criminals. That would be awesome! If I met Supergirl, I would ask her how she flew and stuff. My favorite power that she has is to fly. Being super fast is cool too, but I really want to fly. X-ray vision is pretty cool, but I still want to fly. I would hold my family's hand and bring them to Disney. I would also go buy a super-sized milkshake. Steak and Shake has the best bananas. This is the movie. If you like Superman, you would definitely like Supergirl. She's from the Justice League. Come on, you have to see it. 
She wasn't in the Super Friends. That was Wonder Woman. But she should have been. It's really an awesome movie. You have to rent it or buy it on eBay. So thanks for joining us on this super episode of Piper's Picks. I gotta fly. See you next week. She's Supergirl the whole time. Well, she doesn't have powers. She doesn't? On, on oh. The, in the Phantom Zone. No! <gasps> doesn't make sense. Huh? I think it would be cool if Supergirl and Superman married and had kids that They're were cousins. super. They're cousins. They're cousins. Oh. <laughs> I don't care they can still marry. No, they can't. Why? They don't have the same last name. You can't do that. No, it has nothing to do with last name. You don't marry the same one. Um, <laughs> I think it would be cool. You should have had like a cut.